Hi everybody, this is Charity from Cat Dimensions with this week's tech tip. Um, so what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to take a variable from a part um, and plug it into your drawing. So anytime that the, uh, uh, the part variable is changed, it will also change in the drawing as soon as it's opened up. So uh, in this case, um, I'm going to be using the description. As you can see, it says dude. It could be, it could say anything that you want it to say, but in this case, I'm just having a little fun and saying dude. And just to make sure that you guys, the descriptions are actually different from each other, so you'll be able to tell that the drawing is in fact pulling from the part itself. So uh, just a little setup. Um, basically all you need is to make sure that, uh, I just opened up the part card by the way, um, is to make sure that the, uh, the variable that you're going to be using is in fact in the part data card. Um, in this case, we're going to be using description. As you can see, description is already listed here. These are pretty much default settings for any new variable. If I click on the variable button over here, um, it will bring up all of the custom properties. Um, in this case, you'll see a lot, if you're using the default uh, variable, you'll probably see a lot of um, different block attributes and things like that. In this case, in this scenario, the, the only thing that matters is the custom property here at the top. Um, all you have to do is make sure that this block name is custom property, no space in between. That is very important. Um, you can also just simply click it from the drop down. And typically for the attribute name, um, I usually just name it after what the, the variable is. It'll save you a lot of uh, confusion and headaches in the future. And um, typically I usually just use uh, drawing assembly and part just in case there's any reason for you to also use description in, in other places, which you do. Um, and we can say okay to that. That's all you need to make sure that you have in your um, your parts card. So if I go back here, we can go ahead and open the uh, the drawing. And I'll go ahead and check out the drawing. So it'll keep the changes that we're about to make. And now that we're inside the drawing, um, you can see I already have a few other items in here that are, are pulling from other areas of the data card. Uh, so what you want to do is right click in the, in the drawing and there's actually two ways you can do this. Um, right click annotations note, or you could just simply uh, click note, the little note button here at the top. Either way, it'll bring you to the same little uh, section here and we can get, uh, you'll see my cursor is now changed to a little field box. If you click, it'll set the box in this area. You can stretch out the box so you can actually see what you're typing. And in this case, what you need to type is money sign, PRP sheet, all caps, then a colon, a quote. And in this case, you have to put the variable name. So in that case, it is description. Now, if I did this correctly, uh, the last little quotation that I put in, this should automatically pull. If it did not automatically pull the variable that you're expecting, it's either misspelled, something's not right in the card, or your variable uh, setup is not correct. So as you can see, it automatically pulled this in here. It says dude for my description. That is what the part card uh, uh, description variable says in the data card for the part. If I click off of it, then you can see lots of dudes. And that is how you link a variable from the part to the drawing. Um, if you hover over it, you can even see the little PRP sheet description. Uh, if you're ever confused about what, what formula you, you entered in there. Uh, and that's it. Hopefully you found this helpful and have a nice day.